owner, Billy Shrek. Billy, why would you consider Hampton and Hudson a must visit? Well, I tell you what, the neighborhood, uh, Emmett Park, is amazing, first off. So if you're coming down here, you gotta check out the, the shopping, the, the restaurants. But I'll tell you what, the, the number one thing that I love about Hampton and Hudson is the location. We're in the Inman Quarter, uh, sort of kind of tucked away from uh, the main street. We're in the, uh, the courtyard here area down here. And uh, I tell you what, the food's amazing, the drinks are amazing, the people are amazing. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a great experience overall. I love your energy. Thank you so much. So when I come to Hampton and Hudson, what is a must-try entree uh -huh. and a must-try cocktail that I have to have when I come? Well, I'll tell you what, um, entree-wise, well, let me, let me back up a little bit. You have to try the hot chicken sliders. Amazing, first off to start. And then second, I'm, I'm a big fan of like the steak frites. I'm a, I'm a steak eater, but if you don't like the steak frites, I tell you, our cauliflower steak is, is to die for. Amazing, so you can try that. We, you can pair it up with a St. Mark's cocktail. We have 24 draft beers. Uh, we have wine on draft, so you know wow. you can try any type of wine that you want it. Um, on draft? Yeah, it's great. It doesn't so. get better than that. No, it's perfect. Thanks, Billy. I can't wait to check out what they have inside. You gotta come in. Hi, guys. I'm here with the executive chef at Hampton Hudson, Jason Hall. Jason, tell us about this amazing spread we have in front of us. All right. Well, today we're looking at a few of our more popular options. Um, we have our octopus salad with local arugula, some orange supreme, some pickled heart of palm. Mm. Uh, very light. Um, we, we use a little bit of technique with octopus to make it very uh, tender and uh, almost kind of a little It's a little bit different than some people have mm. um, had octopus before. Our steak breeds, we use a uh, Georgia grown um, hanger steak with uh, hand cut french fries, a little baby kale, and a little buttermilk, and then a truffle and rent bernays. Ooh, that looks amazing. Okay. Uh, here we have our vegan entree, um, this cauliflower steak. We compress it. <laughs> a cauliflower steak? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> we compress it, we cook it on our wood grill um, with a little carrot and lemongrass puree, wow. some curry, spiced lentils, and uh, some uh, forage mushrooms, just quickly sauteed. Amazing. And what are these little babies over here? So this is a fun little take on classic steak tartare. We took the normal preparation steak tartare and just changed the vehicle. So I always loved eating steak tartare with potato chips, and I just thought it'd be really fun to kind of make it look like a taco. So <laughs> we dressed the steak. Um, it's all Wagyu eye brown that we hand cut. It's dressed with a little bit of soy and Worcestershire. Um, it has a touch of shallots and herbs and some garlic. And then we put we uh, mold the, the potato into the shape of a taco shell, form it in there, cure some egg yolks, kind of grate it on top, oh and then take cheese, um, and then our, our lettuce is the uh, parsley. Oh my god! Look at this beautiful patty melt. I mean, could it be any cheesier? It's that high. Tell us more about this delicious patty melt. <laughs> well, I, I'm a huge fan of patty melts. Okay. Anytime I've ever been in Waffle House, I always go for the patty melt. So we, we didn't want to do it any disservice. We just do what a patty melt is and execute it well. So we use Riverview Farms. We have a custom blend of uh, hanger, chuck, short rib, and brisket. Um, it's a double patty, caramelized onions, house-made mayonnaise, and then a very good Swiss cheese. Stack it up tight, a little messy, in a good way. Oh my god, I couldn't imagine anything better. Hampton and Hudson has so many great things to offer. Why would you consider Hampton and Hudson a must-visit? Well, I think we're doing something unique in this uh, neighborhood. We are not quite as smart as a sports bar, but people come to us to play sports. Uh, to watch uh, sports, and then also it's the kind of place that your, your wife or your girlfriend's going to want to come because we got that nice design element, very approachable on the end, um, good value, uh, so when you come in you're not going to break your, uh, your wallet. You're going to awesome. get good quality food, we source most of our things from local farmers, and uh, we try to be sustainable in our practices. I love it.